you think these laws don't need to change. Why? I mean, what do you make, first of all, what you just heard on that tape? I mean, the issues that are raised on the tape are issues of concern. There's something that may need to be addressed. I have some uh, questions about the tape. It's uh, some statements that are made on false pretenses, uh, some conversations with people who are on an entry level. While the issues are of concern, my experience with Utah law, which is extensive, is that it works very well. It's pro-child. Uh, the concern with changing Utah's adoption laws is it's going to be injurious to the children who are involved. Because you're saying it's better for a, a child to be adopted by a two-parent household than it is, what, to be raised by a father alone? Generally, the social science says that. Now, Utah law does permit, does recognize father's rights. We do not take children from a situation where a father has established his rights. But where there are no rights, and father's rights are an area where uh, very misunderstood area, but um, if the father does not have rights, and if you have, for example, a mother who wants to place, the decision should be made in favor of where the rights are and in the child's interest. But, but I mean, certainly in Jake's case, uh, you know, he, he wants to be involved in the life of his child. Do you, do you really think it's better to, that a child be given to two adoptive parents than actually stay with a biological parent? I, I won't speak to Jake's case. Right, I, tell my, I tell my clients not to speak publicly. Uh, right, you're involved in, in, in litigation, so, so but you won't. I, I think generally where a father has not established rights and you've got a mother who wishes to place, the mother's wishes should be respected, and that's in the best interest but of a the lot child. But a lot of fathers don't know that they have to actually stake their rights. They actually have to go down, sign documents. A lot of people just assume well, I'm the biological father, uh, I, mean, I never knew you would have to sign some sort of a document in advance. Well, it's, uh, it's kind of a foundational legal principle uh, that you're knowledgeable with respect to the law. Um, and so that, that's something that applies in all areas of the law.